All right, what is good, guys? Welcome to another boot camp video. Um, today's going to be another quick one. As you guys can see, we are now in Utah, trapping out the bendo. Shout out to the Migos. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to keep this quick. This will probably just be a little trade recap. Um, I got a bunch of shit to do today. I need to go everywhere and everywhere. I need to get a new phone. I need to get new headphones. I need to get my AP fixed uh, from a jeweler. I need to give my brother a Rolex that I got him a while ago. A bunch of shit that needs to get done. So we'll keep this nice and simple. Um, a lot of people have been asking about like this new way that I've been trading. It's really nothing special. Um, it's I'll make like a full fledged YouTube video on it. Um, but until then, y'all will just have to sit patiently and wait. Um, per usual, this was traded live with the discord. The discord opens up in two days. OK, so from the first to the seventh of every single month, the discord will be open um, along with uh, the free discord being available, which um, is just like a open little link in um, in the description okay like literally everything that i offer the broker that i use um to you know execute these trades on um you know literally everything echo vision fucking trading nootropic that helps me lock in and focus for when i trade all that stuff is in there um but yeah let's jump right into this so to start off we had some news today all right we had bullish news boom 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 um for usd and for the s p 500 all right we had gdp and non-farm employment all came out bullish so i was obviously bullish for the day if we look at the hourly obviously bullish for the day i saw that during pre-market we broke structure the upside on the hourly we broke out of these highs broke out of these highs so this was giving me a bullish bias i then went into the five minute time frame and noticed hey we um we chopped up within here take this thing off chopped up within here and then we got a leg on up to the upside same thing here we chopped up got a leg up to the upside I marked out this area okay and then from there I waited for price to draw into that area all right came in we got a break of structure to the upside on the one minute I entered off that stops underneath this low all right first take profit was just like a simple one-to-one -one RR off that I closed 50% of the open position there and move stop to break even and then take profit two was based off these other hourly areas of liquidity that caused this big drop okay I like to highlight these areas because this is where technically where orders were still able to get filled right we ne wouldn't necessarily want this one all the way up here to be our next take profit because we see that boom this swept the liquidity from this price range up to this price range right so anything within here is kind of high probability that orders are going to be able to get filled to go short and you know as we can see that happened um so boom take profit one got hit take profit two got hit and then from there the rest of us the rest of the trade got stopped out at break even uh relatively simple fucking trading day today i took a little bit slighter risk on this um i can talk about that for a little bit why would i go in with lesser lesser risk on a day like today even though we had like a perfect setup everything was in line there was news today, okay? So I didn't really know how that, that was, how that was going to affect the market, um, if that was going to ca cause a big change in direction for the market. So um, yeah, that's pretty much what I was going off of. We had this little area of accumulation prior to that big leg up. I kind of was waiting for this price this price range to get retapped into. That happened. We got a break of structure of the upside. That was good enough for me to go long. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much pretty much it I did um, slightly less risk uh, just due to news and like again that's kind of where you want to play with your risk management everyone's going to have their own risk management strategy for me like I've been training for so long where it's kind of like look I kind of know or I can eyeball or and I can guesstimate what lot size that I should be using per trade so like for this one I did um, I did half of what I I'm used to be I'm used to putting on per trade um, and so I made like half of what I would have made usually on a day like today. However, I would much rather use that risk management strategy because who knows, right? Today could have been a loss and then I would have had to been like, damn, well, I traded with my actual, like my full position lot size on a news day on NFP week, right? Like let's like that. That's like a big mistake. That's something that you shouldn't be doing. 
Okay, so like for tomorrow, tomorrow we have unemployment claims and PCE price index. I'll probably go in with like 75% of what I usually do just because that's the only news that we have tomorrow, unemployment claims, and it's an hour before market opens. So odds are the move from news will have already been made. There will still be volatility and volume within the market. But again, right, like there's news that hit the market, price is going to open, okay? And then, you know, like it's going to do what it wants to do. And I would rather de-risk myself from the market on those days where, you know, they're, you're slightly less probable versus on days where there's no news. It's like, cool, bro. I might even risk a little bit more on these days as long as I have a good setup, right? If I have a good setup, everything's in line with my bias. I get a solid trade setup. There's no news. There's no other conflicting things, right? Then I might go in a little bit more heavy, but like on a day like today where there's lower probability, there's high impact news. It's just like a big news week in general. Um, you know, I'd prefer to scale out a little bit and not trade as heavy. So you guys need to, you know, like sit down, kind of try and figure out what your risk management strategy is going to be like. Uh, I suggest that you guys make it a little bit more organized than what mine is, because mine, I'm just using like set lot sizes based on like confidence and probability within the market. I suggest you guys do something a little bit more advanced than that, just so you guys can stick to your rules a little bit better and not let your emotions get the best of you. So like on a day like today, maybe you say, all right, I'm only going to risk 50% of what I usually do, you you usually risk 1%, you calculate whatever you would risk 1% on this trade, right, with like a seven point stop, and then from there, boom, perfect. You just cut that lot size or cut that contract size in half, and then you're good to go. All right, so that's kind of the little tip and trick of the day, is figuring out what type of risk management to use on what sort of like trading conditions. Again, like if there's no news and every bias is lined up and it's given us a great trade setup, I might go in a little bit heavier. Um, if there's high impact news, maybe I don't even trade that day. If there's high impact news and a good setup, up like, and I get a good setup, cool, I might take it with 50% risk. Tomorrow, right, we have high impact news, but an hour before market opens, I usually don't trade until market opens. Market's gonna open, all right, we'll still probably get some volatility from that news. All right, so maybe I list like risk slightly more than I usually would, um, than I usually would on like a super high high impact news day like today. Um, but I'm still de-risking myself, and maybe that also gives me a reason to if there's like a trade that's like, oh, I'm not really sure about this. That'll be even more of a reason for me to hold off versus on a day with no news where I'm like, I'm not like super confident in this, but like the setup's there. Am I going to take it? Yeah, maybe I take this with 0.5% risk because now there's no news in the market, but right now I'm kind of iffy on the technical side of things. We'll go in with 0.5% or sorry, yeah, 0.5% instead of 1%, right? It's those kind of situations that kind of can help build up your risk management, understanding the type of market conditions that you're playing with. And that also comes with just market experience. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I appreciate y'all, another dub day. Um, honestly, like really hyped about it. I've been real locked in on my trading, even with this traveling going on. I woke up real early this morning, went out on a walk, got a coffee, um, really trying to continue to provide uh, value and information to the Discord because uh, that's what they're paying me to do. So that's the goal, you know, like give out good solid trades to them and help them learn, help them understand the shit. So that being said, I appreciate y'all. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. All right. Peace.